All students on the students menu provides you an overview of all your students, the ability to search for specific students, send an email, enroll a student, and more. All your active and inactive students are included in the data visuals and in the grid. The data visuals allow you to quickly view key information about your students, such as status and drops in the last 14 days. The data visuals icon hides the data visuals for the grid until you choose to show the data visuals by clicking the icon again. You may filter the students shown by clicking on segments of any data visual or by using the filter icon. You may save regularly used filter criteria as a favorite by clicking on the Save icon. A saved favorite, such as Active Students Only, can be set as your default view or loaded as needed with the Load icon. Basic student information, including the student's age, a link to their current classes, the number of total weekly hours, a link to any notes, and the family's balance is included in the grid. The total weekly hours is the number of hours for all classes the student is enrolled in Monday through Sunday. More student fields can be added to the grid by going to Columns on any column header menu and selecting checkboxes. Below the column headers are search fields to enter a quick search for matching records. Enter a full or partial value and leave the field to filter the grid. Click the red X to clear the search. Click the Send icon to email all students showing, or the students you've selected with a checkbox. Use the Row menu to perform actions for an individual student, such as viewing or editing the student record, enrolling the student, emailing their schedule, and more. Update all students showing or multiple students at once with checkboxes and the More icon. You may update student fixed fees, add a note, or clear user-defined field answers and immunization fields for the students selected. The Refresh Grid icon will update the data in the grid if changes have been made. Click on Help with Grids for more information on working with grids in Jackrabbit or refer to our Help Center.